Okay. Should rappers baby mamas be considered <laughs> celebrities? No. No. So we've seen Jada, Ari the Dawn. You I don't know who any of these baby. girls is. I'm gonna say that right now. I don't know who any of these who, who they baby these daddy. Tell me who they baby, baby daddy moms. is. Who? are blowing up. They're getting a lot of money from being a baby mother. Don't yeah. get me wrong. It put them in the spotlight to do businesses like promote for Fashion Nova and do all those things to make money. But it's like the new day celebrity. A lot of these baby mothers are sparking up, but you don't think they should be celebrity? I, I don't. I, I, I seriously don't, man. Even like... um. Uh, what's the lady's name? Uh, Brittany, Brittany Renner. Like, I don't, I don't understand why, why she's so popular. Like, you got popular because you slept with NFL and NBA people. Like, e even when you take it back to girls, like, um, you know, I don't know if you remember, like, Superhead. No. Yeah, Superhead. She, she was popular like the early two thousands. She was very popular in the early two oh. thousands for like sleeping with rappers. So she was sleeping with rappers, and she blew up. Like, she blew the hell up. And I'm just like. Why, why is this girl getting blown up for sleeping with rappers? She got known because she wrote a book about all the rappers she slept with. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Like, I, I, I forgot, I forgot her real book. name. Her real name is something. I can't remember what her real name is. Um, but, yeah, it was, it was. Just, I was so confused. Like, bro, why, why are you popular again? Who, like, you, you're popular because you sleep with people? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's becoming, it's like a, it's a whole thing, like, and it's actually, it's actually inspiring, especially some teenage girls, they aspire to get pregnant by a rapper. For yeah. instance, NBA Youngboy, he has about eight children now, I'm not sure, but... Yeah, like, I think six or seven baby mamas, yeah. That's there's sad, memes, bro. and he's only like, what, 21 years old? There's memes of girls who like, oh, I want to get pregnant by him. I want to yeah. get pregnant by a rapper, like joking, a with him, but they're serious. It's 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 a they check. It's a check, automatic. Like check influence. If you want stardom, they feel like oh, crazy. <laughs> it's it's a I check. It's a check, and you get an instant five hundred thousand followers. Like you know what I'm saying yeah. on, on on damn Instagram. You know what I'm saying. So there so there goes your brand. There there goes your name, and then you get a constant um, child support check every single month, all because you got pregnant by, you know, the baby or or, or by whoever. Um, PJ Washington, who slept with Brittany Renner, got her pregnant. This man is paying like $170,000 a month for child support. That's insane. I've seen insane. a post about that. That's Just insane. Just for her to turn around and leave him anyways. Like she left a, a week after the baby was born. She planned it. Was a, she planned it. She planned the oh, whole wait. thing from the jump. She made a video months before dating him saying, ladies, if you want to get to a bag, get uh, start sleeping with N NFL and NBA athletes. She was like, yo, they're stupid. They never use condoms and they, and they don't pull out. And I'm just like, oh, okay. So once she started dating PJ Washington, everybody was like, yo, be careful. She's trying to trap you. She's trying to trap you. But because he was young and dumb, he thought it was serious. She got pregnant. Um, she had the baby. Literally six or seven days later, she broke up with him. And all, and all this other stuff. And then she started posting on her story talking about, oh, oh, everybody was right. And, and you was faking it all along. And she's like commenting under under the page. She was like, LOL. And I was like, damn, like you are savage, yo. You are a savage. She is heartless. <laughs> <laughs> she went through a whole pregnancy and all and said, everything, nah, you set everything. Me up for life. Everything, bro. And I'm just looking at him like, yo, and everybody was like going crazy. They was screenshotting and everything. He like deleted all the posts and stuff like that. But he was going in on Instagram, man. And like once she commented that LOL, that's that's what I know was real. I was like, yo, these girls don't give a damn. <laughs> she did not care. She said, I'm set. Okay. I'm set. That, that was that was hilarious, bro. That that man was going in. Oh, I was I loved you. And this, that, third, I thought you were the only one for me. And you was faking it all along. Everybody was saying that, that, that you were a hoe. And everybody was saying this, that, and the third. And I didn't believe them. And I chose to believe in us. And all this other crap he was saying. And all she had to do was put LOL at the bottom in the comment section. I was like, yo, I feel your pain, sir. I'm sorry. Like, Jesus. Like, that hurt it's me. He's messed up for life mentally. <laughs> He's messed up, man. He's messed up. And the only thing he's gonna do, he's more than likely, um, hopefully not, but more than likely what he's probably gonna do is is is, is become future. He's gonna be out here with six, seven, eight, ten damn baby mamas. Future. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Future straight up does not care. Like he's just he doesn't like, care. An another another three women stepped up a couple months ago saying that they got pregnant with him by by him. 
two of two of the girls were <laughs> yeah yeah two two of the girls were strippers they they said that they slept with him unprotected uh they had a threesome with them and then there was another girl who sold him his house in atlanta a realtor who slept with him and she said oh well we slept together in the house that i was selling him unprotected and he didn't pull out you know what i'm saying so now you have three girls that's kind of they came out around the same time that said that they're pregnant by him so now we're just waiting for the baby to be born to you know to, to test the test the child to make sure that it's his nine times out of ten it's probably his you know what I'm saying? Oh so he, he, he just, he and just. Also, allegedly, a baby mom popped up out of nowhere. So it was like a, a kid that was maybe, I have to guess, maybe three or to five years old, that it's little baby's child. And that kid looks more like little baby than little baby does. So I'm like, <laughs> what is going on here? And then Dirk, there was another baby that just popped out of the blue and he just got engaged. So I'm like, I don't get I mean, it. I don't. It's, it's, it's the same thing with um uh, with, with with Rihanna and and, and uh ASAP Rocky. Like once once they announced yeah. that they was pregnant, his allegedly his side chick stepped up and was like, "Oh, listen, like I got a sex tape, and you know, basically trying to blackmail him, saying that she wanted X amount of money. Again, it's all alleged. Um, wanted yeah. X amount of money, and she's like, "Yo, I, I I want X amount of money, or I'm gonna put it on OnlyFans. I'm gonna release the video on OnlyFans." So I was like, "Ooh, damn." <laughs> They're wilding out here. You know, OnlyFans are going to pay for that. OnlyFans will pay for that video. If they have an exclusive video of a, what? They're going to pay. They're going to pay top dollar. they definitely going to pay. Exactly. So, oh, no. Um, these rappers have no self-control, though. Like, I don't know how, like, can you imagine that they don't even know these females? So whenever a baby pops up, they're like, wait, wh wh where did I see you again? Like, Cause they're sleeping with that many, that many women, and yeah. th and that's why I be telling people, I'm, I'm like, bro, I don't want to mess with no chick that that's messed with a well-known rapper, like a rapper in general, but like a well-known rapper. Number one, number two, I don't, I don't, I, I always got condoms. I got condoms everywhere in my place. I don't play that. Like I don't, I'm yeah. not doing no unprotected. I don't know what you have. I don't know what STDs you got. I don't know when the last time you've been tested. I've never caught an STD yeah. before, and I plan to keep it that way. <laughs> No, I plan to, I plan on keeping it that way. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, I don't. When it comes to stuff like that, I, I have a very uh like a strict policies like a standard when, when it comes up at that i've had women like tell me oh well we're not having sex unless we go raw i'm like oh, okay well let me go ahead walk you back out to your car because we not <laughs> <laughs> i'll escort back. you to the I'll, I'll escort you right out to the, right outside i got you like you know what i'm saying like, I'm, I'm not because i don't play that stuff bro like no we're not like i didn't make it this far with no kids by accident like this was on purpose yeah. <laughs> like you know what i'm saying like, i don't i don't play no, that stuff seriously. bro I, I don't like, like a lot of people be out here catching like a million STDs. I have homies that works at um Publix Pharmacy. Pharmacy. I got a homie that works at uh Walgreens. She's she's a farm tech, whatever you call it. And like like the stories that they tell me about people that have to come and get these STD pills and stuff like that. Like they're like, yo, like my my home. I have a homie that that works in. I'm not gonna say where, but um the yeah. Publix Pharmacy. And um and he tells me all the time. He's like, yo, bro, like you need to be careful. I'm like, what? He's like, bro, I just had to check out like 17 different STD bottles to like 17 different women. And I'm just like. Uh, what? <laughs> I'm like, no, bro, I didn't, and, and, and it's crazy. He's like, yo, and it's sad because a lot of those girls are very, very attractive. So uh, you can only imagine how many guys they're sleeping with. Number one, number two, how many guys are sleeping with unprotected. Like if I just met you, a week, I've had girls that I met a week ago trying to have unprotected sex with me. Like now I'm like, bro, I just met you. I don't even know you like that. Like, so no, I'm not going to. other men that she's tried to do that to? Too many, too many. So I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't play, I don't play that stuff, bro. I do, I have condoms. I no, I don't play that. I have all over my house. I have girls that look at me crazy when I pull that condom out. They like, what you got a condom for? For you? What you mean? What I got it for? Like, all like, for you myself? think I have something? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like what? People stupid, man. I, mm -mm. Listen, I, I, I don't, I don't play that. Playing with your life. Yeah, exactly. Because there's the STDs that are treatable. Yeah. You still don't want to catch them. And then there's the ones that are not. And now you're going to be dealing with something for the rest of your life because you made a stupid decision in two seconds. No. Uh, no. All because you want to sleep with someone for 30 minutes or an hour. <laughs> yeah. Just not, talk to them, just not to talk to them next week. Like, I don't. Mm -mm. No, that's a wrap. That's a wrap. I, I, don't, I don't play that stuff, man. Like, especially because, again, like I said, I, I travel a lot. Um, I don't know what it is about like women like when they hear that you're out of town like they just I, I don't know like when when I, when, I, when I was in Indiana when I was in um when I, when I went to um, ATL last summer I went to New York last year 
Um, like every time I say, oh yeah, I'm from Florida, I'm from this and that, they just immediately gain some type of interest. And there's like, oh, oh, you're from what, what? I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm not from here. I think people do stuff like that because they know for a fact that they can do whatever they can, they want to do with you. And then there's no repercussions. Yeah, yeah you, you disappear. Like it's, it's like, it, it never happened. Like, you know what I'm saying? And um, also when girls hear that you're from out of state, they think you have money. Like, oh, you, oh, well, you, you live in Florida? You, you came to Atlanta? I didn't even think of that. <laughs> I no, think seriously. Of that. Yeah, I, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't even think of that. That's 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 actually a good point. I didn't. I did not think of that. Yeah. So like, yeah, I, I just, I just, I don't, I don't do stuff like that, man. So when I know for a fact that I've only known you for a week or two weeks or three weeks or something like or something like that, and we've had sex. I know you're doing that with other guys. Like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So I, I take extra precaution. Like no, bro. Like, like I, I've had girls like literally look at me crazy when I pull a condom out. Like, I'm like when you pull a condom, I'm like, bro, I just met you three days ago. What the hell you mean, like? Like you, you want me to hit you raw? Like what? Are you, what are you saying? Like yeah. no, we're not doing that. Like get the hell out of here. That's um, how you know they're just used to like doing it raw with random men. Like we're, 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 we're so offended. Like oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Trust me, man. Nope. Bro, listen. Yeah. I, I I want you. I want you to get your channel up and running. I want you to have everything. Like come on now. <laughs> I, I need. I want your first video to be first. First day single. First day out. <laughs> I am nervous. Oh, nervous about like, what? Nervous I don't know. What? It's like you're just talking to yourself, right? Like, yeah, I'm nervous. Why are you never? You did it before. You do it again. I know. I feel like I don't know. I don't know why I'm scared. It's weird. <laughs> I have no idea why I'm scared. I just need to do it. Hit the ground running. First yeah. day out. You need to. You you need to. <laughs> it sounds like the album. First day out, like now, <laughs> for real. Man, trust me. Well, what? Because what? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start editing this video, and then um, I'll put like your link to your channel in the description and stuff like that. Um, because I I know I know I don't I, you don't have a community tab yet, right? You don't have a do you have a community tab or? What is that? Okay, no, you don't have one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? I, I was gonna, I was gonna say I can tag I can tag your channel, but I can only tag channels that have a community tab. So once oh. once you once you have um I think it's like five hundred subscribers or something like that or seven hundred whatever, once you have a certain amount of subscribers you can get a community tab so you can make start making posts like how on Facebook you start making posts you can start posting stories um you can start doing um you start tagging people you can start having people tag you uh just just oh, crazy just crazy stuff yeah yeah so you got you got to get back active man because I could just just tag your videos and your channel and then they can just click on it <laughs> yeah uh, I only have seventy two followers. Okay, you gonna be we gonna we gonna get you there. So they forgot who I am. So I yeah, don't know. yeah. But yeah, you, you gonna you gonna be good, man. You gonna be good. You gonna be good. You I'm hoping. So? Yes, I know. I know. So you have the personality. You have the look. You have the voice. You're gonna be good. You're gonna be good. I hope this comes through. I don't know. I'm like I'm just nervous because I don't know why I'm nervous. But I'm nervous that I don't know why I'm nervous. I can't even put it into terms. It's just been so long. And your success of YouTube is based off of other people. That's the one thing I don't like. I'm like, yeah. people have to like fuck with you. Like, It's easier for women though, in, in my honest opinion. And, and that's why I said you have to look, you have the voice. It's easier for women because I have a homegirl that started a channel about, um, about four months, four or five months ago. She's already at 900 subs. You know what I'm saying? Really? So it's like, yeah, and she just, just from zero, she's already at 900 subs. You know what I'm saying? And she started doing videos, like, she she had, like, a cleavage out and stuff like that. But, well, you know, whatever. That's the time for another day. <laughs> whatever. <Video. laughs> hey, listen, hey, hey, no no judgment, no judgment. Um, Yeah, so it's it's possible, man. It's possible. Again, like I said, you have to be consistent. I had to post every single day. I've been posting every single day for the last year, year and a half. That's why I got, like, 300 something however many videos i had back when i back when i used to pass my paper out to people i would only post once every other week you know what i'm saying oh, really? yeah i, I would only post once every week what's up if i want to do reaction videos how do you do that like so i know with, youtubers have the video in the corner of the screen and you can see yourself at the same time i'm like yeah how? There's you have to download uh Premiere Pro to do that. I I um I use Windows uh was it Windows Movie Maker because it's free. I use Windows Movie Maker. I'm gonna so, put it in my notes. You said yeah. Premiere Pro. Yeah, Premiere Pro, Adobe Premiere Pro. It's, it's 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 a it's a video um video editing software. Yeah. 
I would love to like, I feel like a first video of reactions or something would be good. Cause I don't want to depress people in my depressive life. Like, nah, talk, like about hey. talk, talk about it. Talk about it. Talk about it. Talk about whatever you want to talk about. I told you I was scared as hell to do my first video because I thought people was going to be looking at me like, bro, what the hell? You did get this out of here. No, I legit had people that was thanking me legit like yo bro like even people that didn't want to comment because they didn't want it to be public i had people reach out to me on instagram and it was like yo listen i didn't want to say this because you know on, on publicly but you know you're the reason why i had this that i was able to get over this so I was able to that. and stuff like that means a lot man stuff like that means a lot so i say just do it i say just do it i say just do it i think i might record tonight <laughs> <laughs> i'm excited now Good. but still like I'll definitely send you my videos so you can watch me embarrass yeah, please, myself. Please do it. Please, you're not going to embarrass yourself. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> okay, yeah, let, me, let, me, let me get let me get get up and start locking this stuff up. Oh so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it works. yeah. So yeah, do do your thing, man. Just keep me posted. Just keep me posted. Let me know. I'm gonna be on the lookout. That's but start it. I'm serious. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. Thank you. Thank okay. you for believing me. Nah, you you're welcome. I'm, I'm gonna give you till Sunday. I'm gonna get to the end of this weekend. I, I need to see at least a video posted, one video. No, seriously. Uh, okay. <laughs> I have to do uh, it. I have to do it. <laughs> I, I'll call. I'll call you. Um, when when I as soon as I lock everything up, I'll call you. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. So later. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs>